Hi everyone, my name is Desiree and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today's video is going to be a continuation of my series of the sun and moon sign combinations and I'm going to be talking about Aries sun and Scorpio moon. Now this is one of the most intense combinations that I think you can have because they are ruled by Mars. So they are definitely more aggressive people, more determined people, sometimes more angry and possibly volatile. So you really, the key thing for these people is you want to see where their Mars is placed because that's going to tell you a lot about this person and about what makes them tick about what drives them motivates them you know what their sexuality is and can give you more insight into how this person ticks but you know the aries sun alone now that is a person of course that is passionate uh, ambitious someone who can be very lustful sometimes impatient sometimes uh, easily irritated or frustrated they're very cerebral people Aries rules the head so they can be just very intuitive people that you know don't really sit and mull over decisions too long they like to act they don't like to sit and wait around for life to happen to them they like to take action and make things happen Aries is a cardinal sign so that is a sign that is going to take action and make dreams come true. If they don't like what's going on in their life, they make a change to change it. And they're definitely very hardworking people. Um, but sometimes they wanna take the easy way out. They aren't always very, you know, they don't have the longevity that some of the other signs have. And they definitely, you know, don't have sometimes the patience that many other signs have. They can just get easily irritated and frustrated with things if they don't go their way right away. Aries is a sign, um, especially women, that is very sexy, you know, Aries men as well, but the women, um, it's a bit more understated. The male Aries is kind of like the warrior. They go after what they want. They're not afraid of things. They're fighters. Um, and women as well, but a bit more understated. They are just quite confident. Aries uh, sun people, and especially confident in like who they are. Aries sun people can be a little bit um, flaky just because they get very bored easily. So they are the type of sign that if they maybe commit to something or someone that they could possibly change their mind down the road just because they, they might see something new and shiny that is more attractive to them or a new opportunity even, maybe a new job, something that is new and fresh fresh and exciting for them. The kind of old, boring, traditional way of doing things gets to be a little bit stagnant for these signs. They want a new, exciting adventure. They want a challenge. And they're the type of signs that feel like they're natural winners. You know, if they go towards a competition or if they go into something, you know, where they have to kind of prove themselves, they usually don't take on that type of an endeavor unless they know that they can win or that they know that they have the confidence to make it to the top. And they sometimes won't even compete if it's something that they know that they're gonna lose because they don't want that feeling you know they they really only want to win and they're the type of people who know their limits and their boundaries and what they can win and what they can't win and they usually stick to things that they know that they have that ability to uh, to make it out to the end and to win or to kind of do the best and to compete competing is very um, important for these people and sort of just you know proving themselves in some way or another now the Scorpio moon now a few celebrities I know Beyonce has a Scorpio moon Drake has a Scorpio moon these people are natural artists they're naturally uh, very emotional and sensitive and you know Scorpio is a very deep sign so they have a lot of seething emotions um, here and there and, and then if you need to get those things out uh, in a healthy manner so that's something that you know these signs definitely want to do is to get it out through exercise or through art and if they're not doing one of those things sometimes these emotions can kind of fester and make them maybe resentful or feel like they you know need to really try and take control of their life in some way they can even be quite hard on themselves like trying to be perfect or trying to just deal with things that you know life throws at you they kind of internalize a lot of things. They can even take things personally. They can be the type of people who, you know, maybe feel like you're attacking them if you, you know, give them any type of criticism. Um, and they can be quite resentful as well. These are one of the more, you know, resentful, re revengeful moon signs. And they keep notes kind of of who has wronged them throughout, throughout their life. And, you know, what you've done or what the level of it was. And they, they really do kind of thrive on that revenge. 
and on you know protecting themselves as well the, the water moon signs i find to be very emotional and to be you know quite intuitive but there's just a depth there that some other people don't understand you know an earth moon maybe an air moon person they more intellectualize their emotions the water moon people internalize those things and they take things to heart they uh, sit and kind of mull over topics and mull over things that have happened to them or situations to come in the future and so they can be prone to a little bit more of anxiety in that way but scorpio moon people are very determined and very loyal people people who are very capable and who want to do you know the best they're people who want to you know follow through with their commitments and loyalty is just a huge thing for these people so you'll see that with their careers you know there are people who kind of stick to maybe one type of thing longer than a typical aries sun person might you know stick to a relationship or stick to a career even if it might not be the most like ambitious or best thing for them there is a loyalty there maybe to the people that they work with or to the company so they can definitely stick things out a little bit longer um, in that regard Scorpio moon people can also tend to be quite jealous um, and that is in many different circumstances, you know, family situations, career, relationships. Um, they again want that loyalty and that 100% of your attention and can definitely get jealous if they feel like they have to share you or if they feel like um, there's maybe something going on that they're not kind of aware of. They, they definitely don't like to be made a fool or to be made kind of to look stupid. Aries as well can get very angry with that so <laughs> these people can definitely be like more on the jealous side um, but they're great partners and they're great people to have in your life as friends or as uh, employees or be honest with them you know honesty I think is the most important thing for a Scorpio moon they want the their people in their life their partners to give them the truth and to tell them things just straight up as it is because they'll definitely be able to kind of read through and see through your BS and they certainly don't like fake people or people who are trying to kind of get something out of them they can they can usually see that very quickly so that is your aries sun and scorpio moon person if you have this placement please leave your feedback below or if you know someone that has this um also let me know any requests that you have for future videos and if you'd like to book a reading with me my link is in the bio have a great day bye I should've been there. I should've been there.